from inside Rogers Center in downtown Toronto. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the New York Yankees. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. And starting for the Yankees, the right-hander, Garrett Cole. How about a scouting report on him? Well, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Everyone seems to be loose, and the offense tends to get going. So, you know, you look at an opposing lineup, when they see him out there in the mound, they know that he's going to compete. They don't want to let him settle in. They want to try to knock him out, get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable. Ready to go now, and the batter is George Springer. Lifted in the air, right center field. And Aaron makes... A nice grab out there. And there's one down. Bo Bichette up to the dish. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Strike one. Oh, one. Out to short, Peraza picks it up, fires across the diamond, and Machete is retired. That is third. The first base, base, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Now this is in the air down the line. Judge is under it. And that is that. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. And now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. Pitching in our game today, Alec Manoa. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters. They have a hard time staying back. Leading off. And Four stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber. Torres. And a pitch. Foul ball there. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Heraldus Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. The pitch. Ball one. Three. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there. And I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. The throw to first. And a couple of quick outs. That is good. The first base. Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Singy Alec Benoa's turned into one of the better starters in the American League. Blue Jays drafted him out of West Virginia. He was the 11th overall pick in the 2019 draft. Yeah, and just a year later, a big league all-star. So developed pretty quickly and a front-end rotation guy for the Toronto Blue Jays. Next pitch is outside. Two will count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. The pitch. Ball and another there. ball. Let's go, Yankees. 
The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. One of the things about that two out walk the base runner over at first four. base is going to have a very <laughs> aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Singy we think of John Carlos Stanton with the big time power as a baseball player but he was actually recruited to play football at USC. The pitch. Strike two. Oh, he's Open. built like yeah. a superhero, so that doesn't surprise me at all. And one thing about him is we talk about guys like Aaron Judge, John Carlos Stanton in the same conversation in terms of exit velocity. He goes down looking. An inning of the books. No score here on the show. And welcome back. Top of the second. Here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Alejandro Kirk. That Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound, sort of that classic power pitcher. He's going to attack with that fastball, move it all around the edges of the zone, and when he has to, fill up the strike zone with confidence that hitters can't touch it. That Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Fastball pretty much middle middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. And now it's Dalton Varsho. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Cole, of course, the first overall pick by the Pirates in the 2011 draft out of UCLA and really blossomed as he moved from Pittsburgh to Houston in 2018. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Bader should have it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. That is it. The third base is Matt Chapman. And here is Matt Chapman. In there, and it's 0 1. Kirk, the base runner at first with one out. Righty to the plate. And down on strikes he goes. Two gone now. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Up to the plate, it's Brandon Belch. That one is absolutely belted. Pulls it in on the warning track. One left for Toronto. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Josh Donaldson early in his career with Oakland with Donaldson struggling you watched a lot of video on Miguel Cabrera and Jose Bautista these people didn't like it they said be yourself he said well I stink and I need to figure out why they're good yeah I love that and you got to figure it out no matter what it takes well he became good real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher got to be hunting for that strikeout keep him off balance send him back to the dugout Next offering misses, and that's ball one. In the air to left center. Kiermaier moving under it. Makes the catch. And there's one away. Batting six. The center field. Harrison. And now Bader up to the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Swings and misses. Struck him out. 
And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Righty delivers and fouled off. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Right-hander kicks, deals. The other way, and he beats the shift. Next for New York, Oswald Peraza. Ball. First pitch, and he just misses. Hicks off of first with two away. On the ground, and foul ball. Here's a one-two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. The Yanks lead one. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at Rogers Center, top half of the third inning, and now for the Jays, Whit Merrifield. Merrifield. Cole, multi-time All-Star, 32 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2011. Lined, and that's a base hit. Here's Kiermaier now. Outfield playing pretty shallow. On the ground to first, could be two. To second, that's one. Back to first, double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Here's George Springer. Glide out his first time. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. This one's got a chance. And that one is out of here. George Springer takes it deep. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. Came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. Bobachek gets a chance to hit. Grounded out his first time. That's out to center field. Bader should have it. Drops into the glove. And that'll do it. Jays open it up with a solo homer. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back now in Toronto. Leading and now the catcher four, comes up to him. Jose Trevino. The right-hander back to work. Trevino getting the start at catcher. Hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he won a gold glove in 2022. Next pitch inside. And it's one and one. And that one just missed off the outside edge. The 2-1. And a strike.
Next offering upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And the righty deals. Caught him looking for the K. Now that second. Labor Torres up to him. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Out to short. Bichette whips it to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Number 99, Aaron And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Grounded out his first time up. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And Judge spoils that one. Well, you really couldn't ask for a better guy to be the face of the game of baseball. I mean, this is a guy that is so team-first oriented, doesn't like to talk about himself, will always defer and talk about his teammates. Just impressive. And that chance handled. Throws to first, and that is that. One, two, three, go the Yankees. And it remains one nothing. Out of the fourth, and now for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., he's made that proud so far in his career. Multiple all-star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back when, 1999, when his dad was playing for the Expos. Yeah, and so much violence with that swing. Exit velocity is charged and very fun to watch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. goes deep, and they add a run. It's 2-0. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. That home run was a no-doubter. As we dive into the numbers with StatCast. Crushed. Boo. Just... Absolutely crushed. 112 miles per hour on the exit velo, and like you said, no doubt about that one. Plenty of launch angle to give it that backspin as well, and that carried way over the wall. Stepping in, Alejandro Kirk. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. The left field, number 25. So up next for Toronto, Dalton Varsho. Well struck left field. Picks going back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Up next for the baby. The third baby. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. It's interesting. He plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Kicks and deals. In the air, right side. Judge is there. He's got it. Two down. Now that the designated hitter, Brandon Bell. Now it's going to be Brandon Bell. 0 for 1 so far. Brandon Belt, who grew up in Texas, played his college ball at the University of Texas, and then went on to win World Series with the Giants in 2012 and 2014. They called him the captain for a couple of years. Yeah, and I remember Bruce Bochy talking about Brandon Belt when he was just coming up. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Vlad Guerrero Jr. with the solo shot for Toronto. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
Welcome back. John Chambi and Chris off. Singleton well, with you. And leading off the, the bottom of the fourth, season. Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo. Manoa back to work. There's a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Well, that was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at-bat alive. And Hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision you don't want to get beat by a fastball, and then you swing and you miss. You go back to the dugout shaking your head. 0-2 oh, now. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And the pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. That's out number two. Just absolutely rolling the on the mound. He's the looking very game. much on his game in the yeah, early yeah. parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Foul ball. You won. That one fouled off. Owen two now. And he hits a ground ball right side. Merrifield to first in time. And that's the third out. Yanks held in check. They're still down. It's two zip. Back here at the ballpark, new He's inning getting started. Team. And now for the, the Jays, Whit Merrifield. Merrifield. And a pitch. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. And out of here. The Rockets one to right, and they add to their lead. It's 3-0. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run, to the slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. In there for strike one. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Ball in one now. Line drive. Base hit right center field. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. Torres, relay to third. The tag, and he's out trying for three. Well, the defense definitely on the clock with that one. Everything had to be perfect to get the runner at third. And you talk about a throw on the money, the relay to third, just a good job all the way around. Back to the top of the lineup. And now, George Springer. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. Back there. And it's gone! George Springer leaves the yard. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add on. It's 4-0. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. 
throws a pretty hard slider, but when it doesn't break, it's just like a good fastball to hit. And right there, eyes got big, hit that ball really hard, and now he's getting high fives in the dugout. And next for Toronto, Bulbashet. That's hard hit on the line. Bader racing over to make the catch. Now that the first base is Vladimir Guerrero. Two outs, base is empty. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. He's already homered here in this one. That one's in there on one. Filling up the strike zone hasn't been the problem so far. It's the quality of the strikes. That's been the real issue. And you look at the first inning, that's what we saw. Too many pitches out over the plate. Bader should have it. Makes the grab. And that will end the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. Back after this on the show. And welcome back. And we stepping got, got in is the speedy Harrison the Bader. Harrison. Here Bader. comes a pitch. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The throw into second, but he's in there easily. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Now here's Aaron Hicks. And first offering is fouled off. Bader at second with nobody out. Next pitch is popped up. Chapman makes the catch, and there's one away. Now bad. The shortstop. Oswald Peraza stepping in now for the Yankees. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. In there, and it's 0 and 1. High fly ball out into left center field. Varsho racing over to make the catch. The throw in. Here's Jose Trevino. Struck out looking at his first at bat. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one really no good throw. athlete. And many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Bounce back to the mound. And it gets by him. Throw home, not in time to run scores. It's 4 1. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Labor Torres up to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Kicks and fires. Fought off foul. Next pitch misses inside. And a count one and two. Got it by him for the K. 
They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 4-1. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Michael King. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. The catcher. Kerr measures 5 feet 8 inches, 24 years old, and he took home the silver slugger last year in the American League. Line drive, base hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So up next for Toronto, Dalton Varsho. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. King goes six feet, three inches. He features a sinker, a slider, a four-seamer, and he works in a changeup. Left hand hitter waits. And that's in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. Out to center. Bader should have it. And out number one on the grab. Now that third base, Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. This one smashed down the right field line. And that's just foul. And he deals. Check swing went around. And the count is 0 and 2. And a pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Kirk stands at first with one out. On the ground, two ball. Fired to second. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. 2-3-4 due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Blue Jays four and the Yankees one. Well, we go bottom six. And stepping in for the Yankees, Aaron Judge. And a pitch. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness of the strike zone to boot. That's critical. Very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about hitting home runs. You have to have plank discipline as well. Nope. Next pitch is inside. Two balls and a strike. And a strike in there. The pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. Next Thank offering you. is down low. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. On the ground, right side, and it gets by him. Now, just a simple ground ball the other way to pat eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And here is Anthony Rizzo. In there for strike one. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Runner at first with no outs here. Oh. 
Now we all know about Anthony Rizzo's skill set on the field multiple times at All-Star. Multiple times he's won the Gold Glove. He even won the National League Platinum Glove. But also a guy who won the 2017 Roberto Clemente Award for his work off the field. Just a slow ground ball this time. Fires over to Guerrero. Rizzo out of the play. Here's Stanton now. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Stanton, an all-star a season ago. A member of the 1,000 hit club. And he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings and misses. It's a ball and two strikes. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. That one's in there on one. Ball. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Runner at second, two down. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. One left for the Yankees, and they trail it 4-1. On the mound now, Wandy Peralta. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. And now the DH, Brandon Bell. The designated hitter. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. The pitch. Yeah. That's a strike. That's strike one. Swung on, belted. That one back. Leaping, and he makes the grab. With Merrifield up to the plate. He's already homered in this game. In there, and it's 0-1. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Number 97, preparing to come on if needed. And the lefty with the 0-1. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And that will get out of play. Let's go, Into center and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. He was all over that one. Oh, just an good. awesome swing of the bat, quick just hands, and just launched the baseball. Yeah, 108 on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now here is Kevin Kiermeyer. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. And now the lefty hit pretty well in the air out to center. Grabs it on the run. And there's two down. The right Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. George Springer getting ready to hit. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. He's going, he's Merrifield going, on the going. move. On one. Throw. Hey. Save. Well, he's really showing us the dynamic skill set he brings to the field on this one. Homer earlier. Now he swipes second, showing off the speed. Really fun to watch him play the game.
two outs and one in scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. Check swing, but it's put in play. Bear hands it. Tough play, and they get the out. Blue Jays held in check, but they lead it four to one. Back here at Rogers Center, bottom of the inning. Here's a speed threat. Harrison Bader. Harrison. The pitch. Bader. And first offering is fouled off. The Yankees looking to rally. The 0 1. There's a strike. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. The 0 1. There's a strike. The next offering misses. And that's ball one. Two strikes. And the right hander deals. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more That's fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Peraza up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Goes down looking. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number 97. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. So digging in, Bo Bichette. The shortstop, Bo Bichette. And the pitch. Strike one. Oh, one to count. And here it comes. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Off to a good start with a leadoff dive. I'm sure he feels really good about oh, that one. That pretty much split the zone down the, the middle, three. and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And here's the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Strike one. On the ground a second, might be two. There's one, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Two outs, base is empty. Now the Toronto four-hole hitter, Alejandro Kirk. Good contact guy, good defender.
And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Strike two. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. In the air, out towards right center. And Aaron makes a nice grab out there. And that is the third out of the inning. Ready to go for the last we half of the inning. And the play. Jose Trevino. The Yankees in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Next offering is in for a strike. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one. Feeling really good about what he's working with. And that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Here comes Glaber Torres. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty to the plate. There's the strike. He's gotten into a really good rhythm. Set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Seven in a row by way of the K. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. It's Aaron Judge now. One for three. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. And a swing and a miss. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Next pitch is outside. Just inside. And now it is filled up. Righty delivers. Out to short. Bichette picks it up, whips it to first on the run. And that ends the inning. So the Yanks go in order. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Back now in Toronto. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now for the Jays, Dalton Varsho. The right-hander back to work. On the ground to short. Peraza fires oh. over to first. One up, one down. Now, now, third base. Matt. Matt. Here's Matt Chapman. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Right, yeah, yeah. Going one. Going oh, one. And the righty deals. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. The 0-2. The punch out there. And there's two away. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. So now here's the DH. Brandon Bell. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. And that one fouled off. Overrated. 
two outs. Fly ball down the line. And that is a foul ball. Tried to hold up on the 0-2. Now a look down to third. Didn't go. Right-hander kicks, deals. That's towards center. Bader should have it. Brings it in. And that is that. Offense held in check there. Hard of the order. 3-4-5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Blue Jays 4 and the Yankees 1. Last chance for the home Leading team. Up. And now the first baseman, Anthony the Rizzo. Baseman, Anthony. The pitch. Rizzo. And nope. there's a ball. In the air, left field, down the line. And that drops foul. Swing and a miss. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. One away. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. With all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball. Those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Next offering is in for a strike. Just missed. It's a good take. Got him. That's out number two. Fastball inside just freezes the hitter. I don't think he was ready to pull the trigger. A lot of times hitters are looking away, and that one locked him up. Here's Josh Donaldson. First pitch just misses. Just nope. missed. That's inside. At the belt and fires. That's oh, inside. That's inside. Three and oh. Tap softly third base side. A swinging bunt. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Blue Jays claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start. Who knew he'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there. But ultimately, it was an outstanding outing. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.